Hey guys, a handful of people have been asking me uh, whether or not you could actually get FL Studio on Mac. Now the answer to that is, as you could probably tell, yes. Uh, I just wanted to give you a little bit of information in regards to this. So this isn't a uh, kind of weird port or a weird way of doing this. This is actually the official FL Studio running natively on Mac. And as you can see down here, I have it down here. And um, the, uh, the installer is in my downloads folder right now. So, um, so now the question is, uh, first of all, you know, just kind of proof that it works here. I've been working a little bit and um, you can't hear that it's doing stuff there. So uh, it is, it is working. Uh, you can edit stuff. This is one of the synthesizers I loaded in. Um, it works with VSTs here. Um, I don't know if it just works with VSTs or if it works with VSTs and AUs. Um, but I have a handful of plugins in here that I haven't quite, you know, completely checked out. Um, just to make sure they work and everything like that. But, um, but yeah, so FL Studio is working here. And uh, the one thing that you have to keep in mind though is that it is in alpha. So um, it's, it's, it's very much developmental and you'll probably be able to see here um, some of the things I'm doing here if I wanna just like, here, let's, here's a great example. Um, one of the iconic plugins for um, FL Studio is the da, 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 sound goodizer. And it's currently not in here because they haven't updated the interface so that it works natively. So uh, that said, that means that this is, it is gonna be 100% FL Studio, 100% official FL Studio, and 100% fully working eventually. But right now it's in alpha state. Um, so those of you that are, are interested, if you actually buy FL Studio right now, you will get the full version of FL Studio Mac when it comes out. So, um, so you don't need to worry about, you know, buying it again. Um, so that is actually an option for those of you guys that want to, uh, get it and try it out. And additionally, um, you could actually help them out with feedback, tell them what errors you're running into, uh, how things aren't working and, uh, just kind of give them a, you know, give them a little bit of information so that it could help make this uh, better. But like I said, it is currently in alpha state. There's a lot of stuff that doesn't work. Um, for there is, there all also is a handful of things that do work. Now they do mention on their site. They don't suggest using this for, uh, actual audio production. They only suggest people to download it for testing purposes. Um, and I'm kind of agreeing with that. It is, there are some things that are finicky. Like for instance, um, the biggest problem is you cannot pop open their, uh, plugin picker right here. So adding extra synthesizers is a pain. Uh, I added the synthesizer and then when I closed it and opened it back up, it did not save. Um, so it is just something to keep in mind. If you do want this, um, you can get it now, but don't plan on using it now. Uh, if you're going to get it now, uh, I suggest only, you know, getting that for the help of helping them test it so you could develop faster for it. Um, so that's, that, that's my suggestion in regards to if you want to get it now. But like I said, uh, if you buy it now, you, if you buy FL Studio now, you do get the Mac version and you also get the Windows version in the meantime. Um, and there's also a, uh, what's called a crossover wrapped beta version available for Mac as well, which is one that's, uh, apparently it's slightly more stable, but the problem is they can't actually turn that one into a full, fully working version of FL Studio. So this version is going to eventually be fully, uh, fully working for now. It is currently in development. Actually, uh, today is the March 1st. The latest update was actually in the second half of February. So they are actively working on this. Um, it is not in any sense, you know, something that they're just kind of like throwing off to the side and like checking to see if this is going to be done. Um, it's, it is definitely on the roadmap to finish this. They're slowly plugging through, getting everything done. And uh, it's just a matter of time into to when it will be done, not a matter of if it will be done. So it is on the road, roadmap. It is something they're working on. And um, it is something you could hop in and mess around with. Uh, like you can see here, I, I have, you know, just basic, basic loops going on. I have my bass with this, uh, another plug in here. And um, one of the other things that you'll keep, you'll, you'll have to keep in mind is when you do things like playing with audio um, at first, you, or not playing, playing with audio, but you're playing with knobs and stuff, you'll find that uh, it gets a little bit annoying, but what happens is your mouse will actually get temporarily locked after you let go um, over the button or, or dial there or whatever and you won't be able to move it very easily. So uh, just keep that in mind. That, that's one of the bugs that I've encountered uh, along with the plugin picker not being able to be opened right now. Um, so that said, it is very much, uh, it is very buggy. It is very, very much in development, but at the same time, you know, uh, you, can't ex you can expect it to be done. And uh, they are currently working through that. And uh, you can help them out if you want, uh, if you have a copy of FL Studio or if you buy a copy of FL Studio, um, you could definitely help them out. The way you get this is you just simply log into your account 
and it'll be like the first thing up there on your account. You'll uh, it'll have like you know your invoices, and then it'll have special offers. And uh, right there, it'll say you know you could download the latest alpha version of the native um, Mac uh, version of FL Studio. You could download that there. There's also a link to the forum, which gives you some setup instructions. Um, do not ask me for setup instructions. Do not ask me for uh, bug fixes or, or or questions on how to make things work because quite frankly I am very new to FL Studio on Mac and I'm not 100% sure how to fix any potential issues you might have and additionally like I said this is a developmental version if you want to help them with development not if you want to produce uh, because there are some things that will happen like I said I saved my project closed it and then this synthesizer um, had kind of disappeared but you know it, it does uh, functionally it does work and um, there, are, there are some bugs you have to keep in mind but uh, like I said, if you want to help that effort, uh, help them work on the work on supporting new features and getting everything else already in here uh, fixed up and ready to go, uh, then feel free to grab a copy of FL Studio and help them out with that. Uh, because the more people they have helping out with uh, finding bugs and finding the sources of the bugs and everything like that, uh, the faster they can fix the issues and get around to uh, get, or finally releasing it as a full version when they clear up all the issues. Uh, but anyway. Uh, that's, you know, like I said, I'm not going to go over the installation process. They have some instructions there. Uh, but for those of you that don't know, yes, FL Studio is coming to Mac. Yes, it is kind of already available for Mac. And um, it's, it's, it's only a matter of time and you could get it. And, uh, and you know, it's something that we are, we're all excitedly waiting for when we'll have FL Studio on both Mac and Windows. Uh, but anyway, that's just it for those of you guys that were wondering whether or not it was there and whether or not it's still in development. Yes, it is definitely in development. And uh, you can check it out on FL Studio's website. But I believe you do have to be a member to access their forums and kind of check out the development progress and uh, co comment and ask questions and stuff like that. So, um, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope this was a little bit of good, good news for some of you guys out there. And I'll see you in the next video.